in this video I want to go over one 2012 NCA exam paper on tables, equations and graph. Okay, so let's read the question. What does the question say? A rope in a playground is hanging symmetrically between two poles. So these are the two poles. So this is pole 1, this is pole 1 and this is pole 2. So you've got two poles. So this is a pole and this is also a pole. Okay, so this is the second pole. And this is the rope that is hanging between the poles. So this is the rope. The shape of the rope is modeled by the equation h is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 6, where h is the height of the rope above the ground. So this is the ground. And uh, h is the height. And x in meters is the distance of the pole from the left. So let me use a different color. So this is your height. So this is, say, let's say this is your y-axis, which is your h-axis. So this is height. And on x-axis, you're taking x, which is the distance from the left-hand side. OK, so the question is, first question is, how far from the ground are the points where the rope is attached to the pole. So you want to basically find this point and this point, or the height of this point above the ground and this point. So as they are symmetrical, they would be at the same height. So well, if you, let's write the equation, h is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 6, sorry, plus 6. So what's this question? So we need to understand what the question is asking. What's the height? You want to find the height. What's the height when x is equal to what? At this point, what is x? At this point, your x is at origin, so x should be 0. So basically, what's this height? What's this height when x is equal to 0? So you have to just put x is equal to 0 here, so h is equal to 0 squared minus 4 times 0 plus 6. So that is, this is going to be 0, this is going to be 0. So final answer is 6. So how far from the ground are the rope, uh, sorry, are the points where the rope is attached to the pole? Well, the answer is 6 meters. This height is 6 meters. Okay, the next question is related to this. Sketch the graph of h is equal to x squared minus 4x minus plus 6. So let's write in place of you have got y and x, so let's change this to y and x. So let's write the equation is y in place of h I'm replacing by y. y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 6. So if we go backwards, if you go to the previous question, one thing that you should understand is this is a parabola which is which has a y-intercept. It doesn't have an x-intercept because it is above the ground. So here yeah, we have to write this uh, in, a, in the vertex form. So let's write in the vertex form. So in my previous videos I have explained the vertex form. The vertex form is like this y is equal to a times x minus xv the whole squared plus yv so if we can write this equation in terms of this we can find the vertex and once we find the vertex we can find the other points okay so this is this is not going up in one so this is so this is one mistake you should not make. So this is 1. Okay, so this is 0.5. So this is 2. This is 3. This is 4. This is 5. And this is 6. Okay. So yeah, to write this in this form, let me use a different color. I'm going to write this like this. I'm going to make it a perfect square. So y is equal to x squared minus 4x 
and I'd write something here which will make this a perfect square. Now how do you do that? Basically what you do is you half this the coefficient of x which is negative 4 and then square it. So there are two steps. So let me do the two steps. The first step is half the coefficient of x which is negative 2 and then you square it. So that is 4. So by writing 4 here what will happen this becomes a perfect square. This is a perfect quadratic equation. Well now I have got a 6 here. Now to get back that 6 I have to write plus 2 here. I hope you understand 4 plus 2 is 6 and this has become a perfect square. So y is equal to I'll write 1 for a times this is a perfect square of x minus 2 the whole square plus 2. Now comparing with this and this we can say xv the x coordinate of the vertex is 2 and yv which is the y coordinate of the vertex is also 2. So your vertex the vertex is 2 comma 2. So this is 2 and the vertex is 2. So this is the vertex. So this is 2 comma 2. Now to graph it, uh, sketch the graph and show the position of each pole. So one, one pole is already here. So this is, let me draw a different. So this is one pole. So this is one pole. Okay, I hope you understand. This is pole 1, the first pole. So let's name this as pole 1. And this is vertex here. And so this is a line, you can draw a line of symmetry here. So let me use a different color. So the line of symmetry always go through, goes through the vertex. So this is a line of symmetry. So this is how far away? This is this is 1, you're going up in, this is 1 and this is 0. So this vertex, so we already saw in the previous part that this is the this is the y-intercept, 6 is the y-intercept. So this is 2 to the left. So symmetry, as this is the point, this is a point on the line of symmetry, the other pole will be 2 to the right, 1, so this point is what this is 4 comma 6 and this is the second pole so let me use the same color hopefully this is pole 2 this is the second pole this is pole 2 and if you want to just sketch the graph the graph would go somewhat like this I hope you see that it, this is this is the pole and this is the rope so this is these are the two poles or in other words if suppose someone is asking you what is how how far away is what's the height of this point from the ground well that is two meters so this is two meters so the lowest point of the rope is two meters above the ground and the poles are at how will you describe this line? This line, you can describe this line as x is equal to 0. This line is x is equal to 0. And this line is x is equal to 4. Okay, so this is 2, this is 3, and this is 4. So these are the two poles. This is the rope. And the, uh, the lowest point of the rope is 2 meters above the ground.